But I, I thought they were unlucky. They had a fantastic chance late on in the game, you know, but they're in it. They've mm. stuck to it. If you can't win the game, don't lose it. It gives them an opportunity now to just match Leeds' result. It's, it's, it's all there for them to play for. I just think they'll get the job done, Burnley. And how much credit will Mike Jackson deserve then if he does manage to keep Burnley up, David? Because when Sean Dyche was sacked, I don't think anyone was giving them a chance. Yeah, he deserves credit because he's come in there and, like Tim said, got them to play a, a certain way. But let's not forget Nick Pope's influence on this. And I don't want to be like goalkeeper's union on it, but as I said, where Leeds haven't had Melier winning games for mm. them, Nick Pope has done that. He's performed so well in the last few games to win games. And like last night, without him, Aston Villa run off four, four, four or five one winners. Um, combined effort, but it's up against Newcastle with Eddie Howe and Eddie's money one of my favourite managers of all time, so... Uh... Eddie's, Eddie's not a big fan of Burnley. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Eddie left Bournemouth and went to Burnley and they sacked him. And he didn't feel like he had the real crack at it. Mm. That plays on managers' minds. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing... Eddie's a nice guy, he's not as horrible as me. <laughs> <laughs> but there wouldn't there would be nothing... Nothing would give me more pleasure than putting not a team that sacked me into the championship. I love that, honestly, Tim. <laughs> well, look, it's, it's not going to be an easy game for Burnley, Andy. No, I mean, how do you think they will fare against Newcastle? I mean, look, I, I know we concentrate on Newcastle's home form, and it is formidable. But, like, in reality, unless they've come up against the really best sides, like Manchester City, Liverpool, Tottenham on a good day, they've been a match for anyone in, in mm. 2022. Um, they've absolutely turned around. Bruno Guimaraes is their new best player and he's going to be one of the best players in the Premier League. He's in incredible form at the moment. Callum Wilson's come back and is looking sharp. Um, I think the assumption be that because Burnley need to get a result, they will get a result. Burnley played a lot of good football this season and of course they, they and Newcastle were neck and neck if we go back to the end of, of, of 2021. But at this point, Newcastle are a lot better than them. If Newcastle play well, it's going to be very, very difficult for Burnley, I think. And uh, with Newcastle looking ahead to next season then, David, what do they need to do in the summer? What sort of players do you think are going to be going into that team? I think they go for a goalkeeper. I, think they should, I mean, and again, I, I say this respectfully, it's not like uh, the breakers had a bad season, but I think if Newcastle aspirations are what we all think they are and they're going to pump in money, then they're going to need top draw players. Goalkeeper will be one. Um, defensively, I think they're, they're actually with Eddie sorts things out. Defensively, they're they're very good. Um, Kim Rush, as you said, is already a great signing. He wasn't the best player when they bought him, but he's turning into one of the best players. Possibly a, a forward to go alongside Callum Wilson. I think Sam Maximan might be yeah. surplus to requirement, uh, which will open up a space. Wonderful player, wonderful attractive player, but not quite. I don't think Eddie House type of player. And if it's going to be Eddie at the helm. Yeah, they're not, the they're problem not for places. Burnley is that they all want to be part of this journey now. It's exciting. They're in the Premier League. It's guaranteed. Eddie's looking at them now. So are the owners. They're going to spend money, but you don't want to be the one they get rid of. Exactly. Because you want to be part <laughs> of this. I've been in that position before. I was one at Blackburn who they were bringing in. There wasn't a transfer window, so we didn't have to wait. So every single day there was new players coming into the club. And you can do it, and you can win in quick, quick time. I'm not suggesting they'll win the Premier League next year, but... They're certainly going to be higher than where they are at the moment. I think they push towards the top six. I really do, if they can sign the right players. They've certainly signed the right players in the last window. They give them another window and a lot of money to spend. With, that, with the backing of that support, listen, it could, it could all happen very, very quickly there at Newcastle. As a player, you want to be part of it. So you need to start impressing your manager. And you can impress him now, last yeah. game of the season, mm. which doesn't bode well for Burnley. Mm. Mm. OK, well, focusing on the relegation then. Let's have one name, Burnley or Leeds, Tim? Well, relegated, Leeds, unfortunately. Love to see them. I've enjoyed watching them, but unfortunately for me, I think Burnley get enough and match their result. OK. Burnley, because I predicted it two months ago and I want to be right on something this year. <laughs> <laughs> Andy? I think Leeds go simply because I don't trust them to win their game at Brentford. I don't really trust Burnley either. And the extra added pressure to this, I think, is the fact that Leeds can recover from going down, but Burnley potentially ruin us with the financial position that the club's in.